We're here in Park Slope, Brooklyn, where tonight the Park Slope Food Co-op, beacon of organic food and progressivism, is going to vote on a referendum whether its members should ban all Israeli products from its shelves. Those products are actually quite few. They include this delicious olive tapenade, soda stream sparkling water, and of course vegan marshmallows, as well as organic paprika. Some people in the co-op say that Israel oppresses Palestinians and the best way to pressure it to stop is by boycotting all products. I think that this boycott will say to Israel that, you know, we're serious about this conversation. Um, we're serious about how much you build. We're serious about um, how many lives on both sides are lost. We're serious about, you know, that we're serious about where our American dollar uh, what our American dollar influences, you know, on both sides. For detractors of the ban, it's a silly argument, especially when this tapenade, for example, is made by an organization that donates to PeaceWorks, and in fact explicitly says that it pro promotes peace between Arabs and Israelis. You know, a lot of people uh, are against this uh, move because it will hurt the co-op, it will definitely hurt the co-op. It actually uh, ruined one co-op completely in California already because it's really, it's really a concentrated attack from a body that's outside of the co-op and is trying to ruin it for its own political purposes. But, uh, but even more than that, attacking Israel is not going to help peace because Israel is not the reason that there is no peace. Israel can uh, really thrive in a peaceful environment, but it's fighting a lot of forces that are reactionary and uh, warlike, and it defends itself. It's not always a pretty picture, but uh, you have to tell the truth. So the question that will be decided tonight is, should all 16,000 members of the co-op be allowed to vote on this issue, or will it be put to rest once and for all? This is most likely the most contentious vote the co-op will ever face, and it's faced many before, whether to sell alcohol, whether to have plastic bags, whether to accept debit cards. And its policy of open democracy lets people fulminate and give speeches, and these meetings can get very raucous. Tonight's meeting is being held in a, in, in a Brooklyn Tech Auditorium, which can seat 3,000. And if, in fact, that many may well show up to either support Israel and their love of this tapenade, or to tell Israel no more until you give the Palestinians a state. We'll see what happens tonight.